we see a technology runway that will enable us to take this geared architecture and improve it about double digit in that 8 to 12 percent regime. And that's where we're headed over the next five to ten years to continue to develop this suite of technologies enabling us to improve the fundamentals of an engine and then to capitalize on the uniqueness of this geared architecture to bring more air at lower speed with greater efficiency. So our new trend focus, you know, everybody's asking, well, why isn't Pratt Mooney jumping into the wide body market? We're very busy right now. We have six engine models under development. We have sold over 5,000 engines. We have over 50 customers today. So we are extremely busy. So our near term focus is executing. It's important that we develop these products right. It's important that we have service readiness. And as we go into service and we go into this pretty steep production ramp up, that we're working with our suppliers, ensuring that we get the quality that we want. We, we truly believe the Gears architecture is the way of the future. And it will apply to high thrust uh, twin aisle uh, applications. And we're convinced that we'll have more and more value as we go up in power because, because of two elements. One is we have more landing, more ground clearance, and we have more clearance to make engines bigger. And the weight factor is significant. The savings on weight and length, we allow, we're able to have the engine shorter mounting closer to the wing that helps the aircraft level in terms of, of weight as well. And we're aggressively developing technologies for that next product. That next product will be sometime in the next decade. It won't be something in 2017 and 18 because of the, the level of work that we have right now. But we believe that with the configuration we have today and the technology roadmap that we have, that we'll be ready, whether it's a single, single aisle or a wide body application sometime in the next decade. And I'd just like to end with a really short video.